I normally don't wear my headband unless I'm doing a tutorial, but we just did a tutorial and my hair is like absolutely a wreck. So I just went ahead and left it on. So I'm just going to be a demon for this one. It'll be fine. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm very excited you're here. I'm doing another one of my backup stashes for you guys. Um, this is one that I really, really like. Um, there's a couple products that for whatever reason I just really am inclined to. You guys know I love my eyeshadow palettes and my highlighters and stuff like that. They're very basic, but I just really like, it's like comforting knowing that I have a backup stash. I don't know, I have these really weird problems with makeup, I'm sorry. This one is my concealer backup. I really love concealers and I did not use them for the longest time. I used to like, really, they make doing my eyebrows so much easier. I used to literally draw in my eyebrows with like the crappiest eyebrow pencil and then I would take a Q-tip and like try and clean it up that way. So they'd just be like all red all around my eyebrows. It would be like this really big like caterpillar looking just misshapen thing and then like all red around it because I would just, no, I just didn't know what concealer could give me. And when I discovered it, I was like, oh my God, I love this. And then I discovered the other benefits, like making me not look like I have bags that are the size of um, monster truck tires. So I really love concealers. I have like a very small collection. Like it's not as big, you guys have seen some of my other stuff, but I mean, think about concealers, they're pretty small. So there's a lot in here. This is my little bag that I keep all my concealers in. It is packed full right now. I have um, put myself on a no buy for concealers even when they're on sale because I just have a lot and I need to get through them. Um, you guys will notice a trend in this uh, bag. Most of the concealers are probably the same products or the same brands. And I just bought multiples of them because I really love these particular ones and I wanna make sure I have lots of them on hand. So let's jump right in. The first one is, um, this one I've used in the past. I really like it, but I don't use it very often. It's the Boing Industrial Strength Concealer from Benefit. I actually purchased this. I'm, you guys know I'm a sucker for a free gift. They were given a free gift. So I went ahead and got the concealer, but I had gotten a concealer from them in like a sample size, but it was still a decent size and I really did enjoy it. Um, I liked it for like under eye use. So I purchased it and I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. So, cause that's, you know, who I am as a person. Um, I also have, I've got these NYX HD Studio Photogenic ones that you guys saw me haul. That, I'm still waiting for my NYX full face. I haven't done that yet, but as soon as I do, we'll break those bad boys out. Um, and then of course, you guys know I love my LA girl. I always talk about it. I always talk about how much I enjoy their products and how affordable they are. So I have a whole variety stash, just an entire, I don't even know how to show you guys without dropping them all. Does that work? Um, just an entire variety stash. I've got uh, the really light shade. I've got the darker shade. And I've got the darker shade in minis that I got in samples. And I've got a purple and I've got a green color correcting one. So just an absolute ton of those. And then <laughs> this one, you guys have heard me talk about multiple times. I'm actually, this is sad. So these are my uh, Ulta Cosmetic Concealers in the shade Light Cool that I use only for my eyebrows because they have the perfect wand for it and they're the perfect shade for it. Um, I have six right now. That's actually pretty low for me. For a while I had like 10. So I've actually been doing a good job of like whittling them down. And honestly, for whatever reason, my neurological state looks at that and goes, oh my God, you're gonna run out because there's something broken inside of me. People help, somebody help. I think I, I if there's a therapist watching, I would really love to know why I'm like this. Because I'm sure it's interesting. Anywho, um, these, okay, so these, I don't, they're not technically concealers at all. They're Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusers um, from Bare Minerals. I always get them in like little, like the gifts, the free gifts that they give. Um, Bare Minerals is really good about giving those. And they're a really good size. I have one in my main makeup bag right now. Um, but it's a really nice like under my primer kind of moisturizing thing. It's supposed to like tighten your skin and help neutralize it. So I do always like um, having that on hand. I don't use it super often, but I really like it. So I have this Hey Honey Trick and Treat Cream Concealer with treatment benefits. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure I got it in Ipsy. Uh, I have this one that I'm positive I got in Ipsy because it's Aurora times Ipsy. So, uh, it's one of the green color correcting ones. I have not used either one of those. So 
you know, that's just where we're at right now. Um, I have these, and for a while I was purchasing these. These are also Ulta brands. These are like sticks. They're little stickies. Um, and I bought them in the color corrector. I bought them in peach and green. Um, like I said, I was buying them for a while. I like them, but I actually found I like the formula better for the other concealers. Um, I really only ever bought these for color correcting. I'm not sure they actually sell them in like color, like in skin tone, flesh toned concealers or not. I've actually never checked. So, but I bought them for a while for color concealing, um, or color correcting. And yeah, I haven't really used them in a while, but I've kind of, I've chilled way out with my color correcting just because for a while I was really, really going hard into it. And I found it wound up making me look a little bit more patchy and a little bit more cakey. So I've, I've cut back and limited it only when my skin's really, really red do I normally go in and color correct now. Um, I have just a, a whole medley of shape tapes. In fact, I was very proud because shape tape, they put it on sale at Ulta. It was like a diamond exclusive. It's going to be 50% off. And I was like, I should buy it. But I was like, no. I have five backups. I do not need to buy it. And I resisted and I was very proud of myself. Um, these are all in the shade either fair neutral or fair light neutral. I think I've determined that fair light neutral is actually my shade. I may have that backwards. I don't know, but I've got a bunch, so it doesn't really matter really at all. Um, all right, we're getting close to the end. I've only got a couple more products. These two are the Bye Bye Under Eye It Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I've got the little baby size and I got the big size. Um, I think the big size might have come in either an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm. I cannot remember. I'm sure this came in like one of my free sample kits. And then last but not least, I have these really cool cushion complexion ones with turmeric in them from Julep. I have not used them yet, but I got them on super sale during one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Um, it's got this really cool sponge up top. I'm excited to use them. I keep telling myself I'm going to use them, but right now... I have a ton of concealers in my main makeup bag, so I keep waiting to like whittle some of those out before I move these into circulation. Um, but yeah, that's actually all it is. Like I said, I really do love concealers. There's something about them that I just really, really am drawn to. Uh, these are my favorite ones. I would say if I have to rank them, it's probably gonna be the Tarte Shape Tape, the Ulta Cosmetics Full Coverage Concealer, and then the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, and then I've got the other ones mixed in there. I don't know about the julep one, the turmeric. I really love turmeric and like the properties that it has, the healing properties, the, what it does for your skin. Um, so I may actually use it and wind up completely loving it. I'm going to be like, oh my God, this is the best concealer of all time. Everybody run out and buy it, but I haven't used it yet to be able to judge it. So, um, but yeah, so this is probably a really quick video. Just a little like look into the makeup stash that I have accumulated and hear about my take on products and which ones I like to use personally which ones I recommend. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It super helps our page. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hit that notification bell so you see every time I talk about my makeup or makeup related things or what a mess I am as a person because I talk about that a lot too. Uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly but with a dark twist. Right. I don't remember if we clapped at the beginning of the video or not. Or could you just clap for me? We did, but...